from Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Uzma Jafri and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of our country's diversity. Spring season in India is all about fresh harvest, festivals and celebrations. The entire country welcomes it with great zeal and fervor by celebrating the festival of Basant Panchami in a number of different ways. Let's have a look at this year's celebrations. The arrival of spring season brings with itself a confluence of colors, cool breeze, good harvest and avid celebrations. Marking the arrival of spring, the festival of Basan Panchmi was celebrated in different ways in different regions of the country. In Prayagraj city of Uttar Pradesh, devotees converged at the banks of Sangam, which is also a confluence of rivers Ganga, Yamuna and mythical Saraswati to take a dip in the holy waters. महत्वपूर्ण है प्रयाग में महत्वपूर्ण माना जाता है बसंत पंचमी इसलिए सब लोग यहां स्नान करने आते हैं नहाते धोते हैं पूजा पाठ करते हैं इन कुल्लू सिटी ऑफ हिमाचल प्रदेश बसंत पंचमी मार्क्स द बिगनिंग ऑफ अ 40 डे सेलिब्रेशन व्हिच कंक्लूड्स ऑन द डे ऑफ होली थाउजेंड्स ऑफ डिवोटीज गैदर्ड एट द रघुनाथ टेंपल वेयर आइडल्स ऑफ लॉर्ड राम गॉडेस सीता एंड लॉर्ड हनुमान वर ब्रॉट इन अ डेकोरेटेड पैलेंक्विन from the Raghunath temple and placed in a wooden chariot. The chariot was taken to the Rath Medan where the rituals marking the beginning of the celebrations were performed. Devotees rejoiced the occasion by playing colors with each other and a holy sacrament was also distributed among all. Here, Basant Panchmi is very good to be here in the past year. तो इस साल भी यहाँ वसंत पंचमी बहुत अच्छे से मनाई जा रही है रघुनाथ जी को अपने मंदिर से बाहर निकाला है और रथ यात्रा भी यहाँ पर करवाई गई है और हम सभी को बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है देख के अभी रघुनाथ जी के दर्शन किए हैं और आज ही से जो है होली त्यौहार का होली त्यौहार की शुरुआत हुई है Meanwhile, Sikh devotees gathered at Gurudwara Chhetra Sahib in Nadan Amritsar city to chant hymns and offer prayers on the occasion. They also took a dip in the holy water with the belief that it will wash away their sins. Paramatma de kar vich jo bhi asi mangan vaste hunde ha paramatma tar uth kar ke saadi bhavna nu mukh rakhde hoya oh jo bhi vast mangi sai satri paashe de vich chobi ch paunde ne. The festival glorifies goddess Saraswati, the Hindu goddess of knowledge and wisdom. The goddess is depicted as seated in a lotus and riding a swan. Basant Panchmi holds immense importance for students and artists who offer special prayers in schools and colleges on this day to seek the blessings of the goddess. Devotees wear yellow clothes on this day and a variety of sweets flavored with saffron are prepared in households. It is also believed goddess Saraswati was born on this day. Religious diversity acts as a crucial element which defines the cultures and traditions of India and binds the country all together. As India has always been the land of mystic and Sufi saints, Khwaja Moinuddin Chishti holds the special place. So we take you to his shrine at Ajmer Sharif Darga where annual urs of the saint was commemorated with religious fervor. Cutting across the religious lines, hundreds of thousands of pilgrims strong Darga of Moinuddin Chishti in holy city of Ajmer every year, validating the intrinsically harmonious essence of the city and by large India. Recently, the Darga witnessed a large number of pilgrims coming together in the spirit of humanity and commemorating the 810th Urs or death anniversary of Sufi saint. During Urs, devotees including women and children offered prayers at the shrine and chanted holy verses from the Quran with traditional devotion and fervor. Dargashim mein mahal toh bhoat achcha, bhoat achchi tarikhe se hai. Covid ki tarikhe se palna ki vayse thodi public kam bhi aai hai. Kyunki pahle malum ni ta logo ko dargah khuli hai, band hai, sabhi se baad mein public badi bhi hai. Dusri baat hai, yaha pe jo log aate hai, wo har caste ke, har bradri ke, har zat ke, हर कॉम के लोग आते हैं 
खाया साहब जिनको बुलाते हैं वो तो आते ही आता है लोगों की आस्था है और उनमें यह है कि बाबा को उसमें जाएंगे कुछ ना कुछ मिलेगा Scores of devotees from all over the country as well as neighboring nations thronged the darga and offered chadars and sweets to place on top of the tombstone of the saint and seek his blessings As the celebrations proceeded different qawwali groups came to the darga complex and sang melodious qawwalis in praise of the saint Usme Maharashtra UP Bihar Odisha Rajasthan Gujarat वेस्ट बंगाल तमिलनाडु आंध्रा कर्नाटक वगैरह सभी जगह के लोग यहाँ पर शामिल हैं खाजा साहब के दरबार में भी जन्नत दरवाजा भी छेनी के लिए खोला गया है तो वो आकर के सब अपने अपनी मुरादें मानते हैं धागे मारो Darga Ajmer Sharif holds great significance as it welcomes people of all faiths to seek oneness with God and plays a distinctive role in narrowing the boundaries of religions and boosting secularism in the country. Born in 1140 AD, Khwaja Moinuddin Chishti is known for his teachings of humanity and syncretism which transcends beyond religions. It is one of the most sanctified pilgrimage sites in the world and it is believed that a person who prays with pure heart at Ajmer Sharif Darga gets all his wishes fulfilled. Now a round up of some of the major stories that made news recently. Rakesh Khatri, popularly known as the nest man of India has revolutionized the world of housing for birds by creating more than 250,000 nests for his feathered friends. A bird lover since childhood, Khatri, when moved to a closed up urban concrete jungle, started missing the birds, so he built some bird houses and discarded coconut shells. Khatri soon had birds in his residential society of concrete buildings with no open space. Since then there was no looking back for him as he went on to conduct many workshops and webinars mostly for children teaching them how to build the bird houses and has contributed to the making of more than 250000 bird houses in the country pure desh bhar mein khoob webinar kare itne webinar kare ke logon ne 75000 ki tadad mein wo ghonsle bana dale aur uske baad se ye safar chal hi raha hai 2.5 lakh se zyada hi ho gaye honge almost mere haath ke banaye hue aur jo log humse le jate hain banane ke liye unke banaye hue और आप मान के चलिए मुझे लगता है अगर सब कुछ ठीक रहा तो 10 लाख बच्चों ने तो अब तक और फैमिलीज ने सीखा ही होगा वेबिनार के थ्रू हमारे थ्रू क्योंकि एक वर्कशॉप में हमारी 300 से 400 आदमी बच्चे बैठते हैं खत्री हैज बीन फीचर्ड इन द लिमका बुक ऑफ रिकॉर्ड्स द नेशनल अवार्ड फॉर आउटस्टैंडिंग एफर्ट्स इन साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी डॉक्टर के के एस एच सी एफ आई अवार्ड एंड ऑल्सो हैज अ चैप्टर डेडिकेटेड टू हिम इन अ क्लास फोर स्टैंडर्ड टेक्स्ट बुक इन स्कूल्स Tourists stranded in India's Shimla hill town found relief in the toy train to travel back home as heavy snowfall has blocked the roads. They were stuck in the city for quite some time as snowfall had led to traffic jams and snarled roads. However, some tourists were seen enjoying the snow and claimed themselves to be lucky to have witnessed the snowfall. Jis din se hum yahan aaye hain, us din se snowfall ho rahi hai. और हमें बहुत ही ज़्यादा इस चीज़ का मतलब वी वी आर एबल टू यू नो एक्सपीरियंस दिस प्लेजेंट वेदर स्नोफॉल हमने फर्स्ट टाइम एक्सपीरियंस किया और वेदर बहुत ही ब्यूटीफुल एंड हमें बिल्कुल ऐसा लग रहा है जैसे वी आर एबल टू एक्सपीरियंस हेवन Famed for its panoramic views as it climbs more than 4000 feet through heritage tunnels and along multi-arched bridges, the narrow gauge 96 km Kalka to Shimla route is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The train is the best alternative for the commuters, especially the tourists, as the Shimla airport is located about 22 km away from the main city and has a very few scheduled flights. A restaurant in New Delhi is wooing customers by offering prize money of seventy-one thousand rupees to those who finish ten feet long dosa, an Indian dish, in forty minutes. Shridhar Kumar, the owner of Shakti Sagar, is a brainchild behind this idea. He came up with it to attract new customers to his restaurant. छोटा डोसा बनाते थे हम पहले 
छोटे से स्टार्ट करा कोई भी आदमी छोटे से स्टार्ट करता है तो छोटा मैंने कहा थोड़ा बड़ा डोसा बनाते हैं हम तो बड़ा डोसा बनाएंगे तो बड़ा चैलेंज रहेगा तो लोग कस्टमर आएंगे लोग आएंगे तो इसलिए मैंने कहा कि एक बड़ा तवा बनवाते हैं बड़ा डोसा बनाते हैं ताकि लोग आएँ और चैलेंज करें The cost of the dosa is 1500 rupees and no one has won the challenge so far. Dosa, a crisp wafer thin rice flour pancake stuffed with vegetable stew is a popular South Indian dish taken as breakfast or dinner across the country. And now we will take you to the southern city of Mangalore where a Muslim man has built a temple and has been taking care of it for the last 19 years India is home to a number of different religions caste creed and ethnicities that reside peacefully on this harmonious land examples of this peaceful coexistence could be easily spotted in different nooks and corners of the country one such example is that of a muslim man named P Qasim Sahib from Karnataka who has built a temple and is taking care of it since 19 years ಅವ್ರು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇಡೋದು ಕಾರಣ ಏನು ಕೆಲಸಕ್ಕೆ ಬೈದನ ಅತ್ತಂದ ದೈವ ನಂಬಿಯರ ಬೈದನ ಅತ್ತು ಬತ್ತನಲ್ಪ ಈ ನಂಬ ಉಡಂದಾಂಡು ಮಕ್ಕಳನ್ನ ಮದ ಮೇಲೆ ಹೊರತು ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಮದ ಮೇಲೆ ಆಪುಜಿ ಸರಿ ಬೋಳ ಬತ್ತನಲ್ಲ ಮುಡಗಡೆ ಇದೆ ನಂಬ ಬಂತನ ನಂಬತಂದು ನಂಬತ ಮಕ್ಕಳನ್ನ ಜೋಕಳನ್ನ ಮದ ಮೇಲೆ ಆಂಡು ನಾಲ್ ಜೋಕಳನ್ನ ಮದ ಮೇಲೆ ಆಂಡು ಅರ್ಥಾಂಡ ಕಷ್ಟ ಪೂರಾ ಬರಿಹಾರ ಆಂಡು ಎಂಜ ಇತ್ತೆ ಎಂಜ ಬಂಡ ಬಂಡ ಅಜ್ಜನ ನಂಬತ ಗುಡಿ ಕಟ್ಟು ಕುಳ್ಳು ಸಾವರಾರು ಜನ ಬರಪು ಅಕಳನ ಕಷ್ಟ ಪರಿಹಾರ ಆವರ ಬಡಾತು ಕೇರಳ Kasim came to Karnataka in search for a job 35 years ago and settled down in Kavatharu in Mulki Taluk a town around 40 kilometers far from Kerala During his rough patch he built a temple for Kuraja a demigod revered in coastal districts People of different caste and religions reside in the village and come to offer prayers at the temple इधर हम लोग कुछ भी मन्नत मांगेगा तो करगज्जा हम लोग का मन्नत को पूरा करता है कुछ प्रॉब्लम नहीं है इधर कोई भी आए आ जाइए करगज्जा का सानिध्य में आके हम लोग को मन्नत कीजिए तुम लोग का कुछ भी प्रॉब्लम कुछ भी तकलीफ रहेगा तो सॉल्व करेगा करगज्जा फ्रॉम द पास्ट ट्वेंटी इयर्स कासिम हैज बीन परफॉर्मिंग डेली रिचुअल्स एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग प्रसाद टू ऑल द डिवोटीज Next we move on to Jammu and Kashmir where an igloo cafe is emerging as a major attraction amongst tourists opened at the famous ski resort of Gulmarg it is claimed to be the world's largest cafe of its kind with a seating capacity of 40 have a look If you're planning to visit Kashmir to soak in its snowy weather your itinerary must include sipping a cup of coffee or hot kahwa inside an igloo You no longer have to travel all the way to Switzerland, Finland or Canada to have such an experience as the newly opened Igloo Cafe in Gulmarg is all set to be at your service. Popularly known as Snow Glue, this cafe is set up by a hotelier named Wasim Shah and is around 44.5 feet in diameter and 37.5 feet in height. The snow tables each meant for four people are carved in a circular fashion to serve 40 people. Tourists in large number are flocking Gulmarg to visit the Igloo Cafe to have once in a lifetime experience. Hum pehli baar Kashmir aaye the aaye hain. मैंने सुना था कि कश्मीर को जन्नत कहते हैं और वाकई ही ये जन्नत है इससे खूबसूरत दुनिया में कुछ हो ही नहीं सकता है जिन्होंने सोनमर्ग पहलगाम गुलमर्ग सब देखा है और अभी हम गुलमर्ग के इग्लू होटल में खड़े हैं जो हमारे गाड़ी इरफान ने लाया है वो बहुत ही अच्छे हैं तो ये इतना खूबसूरत है कि इसका शब्दों में बया ही नहीं कर सकते कुछ यूट्यूब पर आप जो देखते हो उसकी एक झलक भी नहीं कुछ भी नहीं यूट्यूब पर आप देखते हो अगर आप सच में देखना चाहते हो तो आप एक बार विंटर में कश्मीर आओ सात आठ दिन के लिए और ये सब प्लेसेस देखो 
जो आपको यहाँ पे एहसास होगा वो दुनिया में कहीं नहीं हो सकता है इतना खूबसूरत कश्मीर है Snow glue took 64 days to complete with around 25 people working on it. It has two sections, one for seating and the other for art space like wall carvings. Moreover, to give it a local touch, samovar, which is a traditional Kashmiri kettle, has been brought to use inside the cafe. It is claimed to be the world's largest cafe as it is more in height and diameter than the one in Switzerland which according to the Guinness Book of World Records is the biggest igloo cafe. One of the members in Walden establishment of the cafe said that they have already applied for the world record. हमने इस इग्लू को एक आ, सिर्फ एक स्ट्रक्चर बनाने की कोशिश नहीं की है एक एक्सपीरियंस बनाने की कोशिश की है तो ये जो हमारा इग्लू है आप देख सकते हैं इसके दो सेक्शंस में डिवाइडेड है एट यहां, एक यहाँ का आर्ट स्पेस है जहां पर हम लोगों ने लोकल आर्टिस्ट जो है हमारे उन लोगों ने आर्ट यू नो अपना बनाया है आप देख सकते हैं वॉल कार्विंग्स की हुई है आइस स्कल्पर्स बनाए हैं और दूसरा एक सेक्शन है जो कि हमारा सिटिंग स्पेस है जहां पर आप बैठ यू नो यू कैन हैव सम कश्मीरी क्यूजीन यू कैन सेट रिलैक्स यू नो एन्जॉय द एक्सपीरियंस experience you know to sit in a ice ig restaurant and igloo restaurant in itself is a lifetime experience last year too an igloo cafe was created in gulmarg by kola hoi green group of hotels and resorts which was claimed to be the asia's biggest it had four tables and could accommodate only 16 people at a time it was for the first time that an igloo cafe was created in india This time again they took the challenge and made the world's largest igloo. Uh, last year ye uh, Kolai Green Heights jo ye uh, hotel hai hotelier hai unhone try kiya tha ek igloo banane ka Asia ka pehla igloo cafe unhone banaya tha last year jo fir unhone is baar thoda bada kiya ki world ka largest igloo bana diya. Wo isme Wasim sahab hain jo inke MD hain Kolai Green Heights ke उनका सारा रोल है ये एक, एक अच्छी अट्रैक्शन है टूरिस्ट के लिए गुलमर्ग मोस्टली फेमस है स्कीइंग के लिए लेकिन इस तरह के जो भी अट्रैक्शन है वो ज्यादा से ज्यादा टूरिस्ट को अट्रैक्ट करेंगे सो दिस विंटर इफ यू वांट टू एक्सपीरियंस दिस मैन मेड वंडर देन यू हैव टू हरी अप बिफोर इट मेल्स एंड बिट्स अ फाइनल गुड बाय At last we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. Tokyo Metropolitan Government is holding a demonstration experiment named E-Ride Tokyo to expand the popularization of EV bike. EV bikes are electronic bikes that are very quiet and do not emit fuel. 東京都は2050年には CO2 を排出しない環境先進都市ゼロエミッション東京を実現することを目指し取り組みを進めております2030年までに都内の温室効果ガスを 50% 削減するカーボンハーフを掲げ新車販売される二輪車を2035年までに 100% 非ガソリン化する取り組みです地球温暖化対策は地球規模での対策が必要となってまいります東京都も今回の授業をはじめあらゆる分野で取り組みを加速させていく予定です After successful organization of Olympic Games, Tokyo has been seen as the most progress city in the world. The city's response to zero emission is appreciated by many countries and leaders around the world. Ireland will next month hold its flagship St Patrick's Day parade in Dublin for the first time in 3 years, hoping to jumpstart a tourism sector hammered by one of Europe's toughest lockdown regimes. We are ecstatic for the return of St Patrick's Day. So, uh we're almost 2 years closed. Um with 2 years with restrictions up until now and we're slowly starting to see the return of people coming back. People are getting the confidence to travel again. The March 17 a public holiday celebrated with parades in towns and villages across the country was one of the first major events to be cancelled in 2020. The main parade in Dublin which drew some 500,000 travelers from around the world each year before the pandemic has served to kick off the capital's tourism season and will again be the centerpiece of a 5-day festival of events this year.
Japanese electronics manufacturer giant Panasonic has announced to take steps regarding environment conservation in the future at the world's largest consumer electronics exhibition, CES 2022. During the coronavirus pandemic, Panasonic introduced its latest products via video and online conferencing instead of displaying them physically. And in the video message, Kusumi CEO explained the commitment green impact. When I see the activities of the Panasonic Group, I see the need to fulfill a tremendous responsibility. We will reduce this by developing new technologies and solutions to increase their efficiency. The customer base of Panasonic is spread all over the world and the company is very well aware of the responsibility that it holds towards the society. Copenhagen Light Festival opened with 50 installations, making it the largest in Europe. Set against the cold, dark Nordic winter in the Danish capital, artist Froskio Gordiat said he hoped his work Phoenix would make people think about traveling and flying and going around the world after two years of COVID-19 restrictions. Phoenix is accompanied by audio of bird songs celebrating the nature that some humans still are destroying. We have made it during the corona period, so we are thinking about traveling and flying and uh, go around the world, nature, so we have made the, the phoenix. The green beam shot across the night sky announcing the festival is on. One Danish artist created a work from 5,000 pieces of yellow plastic found in nature. They were cleaned and assembled into a 3.6-meter tall globe-formed construction called A Dozen Sun by Much D from Denmark. The majority of the light works are placed along the quay and on the bicycle bridges in the most bike city in the world. As a new element, many works will also be turned on in the early morning when people go to work. The Copenhagen Light Festival Sunday runs until February 27. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia at anin.com. I'm your host Uzma Jafri and it's goodbye from the entire production team. <laughs>